Well, how's it going? <laughs> hey, today what we want to show you is how to use the, um, uh, what we're going to talk about is the CD cover. And we've already opened one a tab up of it. Here's our tab. Uh, whoop, hello. This is some famous, very famous CD covers, or actually album covers. Here we get Beatles, uh, Abbey Road, um, Notorious B.I.G., Pink Floyd, another Beatles, Led Zeppelin. These are, Pink Floyd is iconic. So is uh, Beatles, Led Zeppelin. All these are really well-known album covers. And then uh, what we're going to do is, uh, album, it's a slap. In the old days, there's albums, okay? But we want to have a CD booklet. So you're going to have a front and a back. And then you're also going to have this, what they call the spine, the inside. Okay. So it's pretty easy. Um, you can use your own, you can name a group, you know, name the album. Uh, it's got to have the record label logo, song titles. And then we'll talk about it in class here. It's got to have this barcode of a copyright. Uh, you can scan some silly barcode and put it on there. Uh, this copyright has got to be, you know, like eight point type songs. There's the parameters if you're going to do it in Photoshop. Okay. Uh, and then um, things like that. Okay. And then what we've done here is here's how to do it in Photoshop. Okay. That's what it would look like. Here's a couple others. Like, uh, this is uh, the Rolling Stones. Uh, the Ventures, The Twist, uh, obviously Kanye West. Uh, here's some more Beatles, Foo Fighters, just some examples of some. Okay, this is how to do it in Photoshop. And we're going to show you how there'll be another slide. On, there'll be a slide also that's going to have how to do it in Canva. Okay, so that you can actually see it. And then you'll submit it uh, depending on which program you're using. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. If you were to do Canva, you would just click this and it will start. There is, there it is, the CD cover. And then what you want to do is you want to give it your last name. So like say Tilly CD cover, okay, or CD. Okay. And then this is obviously the front and this is the back. Okay, and then you can find photos. So you can go up here and you can type up the word photos. Okay. You can use some of these if you want. There's also templates. So if you get up here and you went CD, um, artistic CD covers. Oh, sorry, elements. Uh, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. CD. We'll just do CD. Yeah, they're going to give it a picture of a CD. Okay. So maybe you want to put, remember the frames that we talked about? We've talked about frames earlier. So maybe you want to do a frame here. Um, so let's say I want to use that. Maybe that'll be a picture. And maybe I want to use this piece of clip art. And maybe I want, um, and then you can also see squares. Uh, maybe you want a background. And this, you can always sell, tell, oops, I went too close to that. So we'll go up here. Gosh darn it. Go here. I'll make it this size so it can fit in there. Okay. And you just fit it there. And we're going to pull this out a little bit here. And I'm going to send this to the back. Layers send to the back. Okay. And maybe I want to put a picture, upload a picture. And you can actually, when you upload, you could do it this way too. They have photos. You can click here. And those are trending photos. Maybe you say uh, rock. I have no idea. Oh, actually, give me a rock. Okay, band. Okay. Maybe you want to do kind of this. So you could put this inside that frame. Okay. And remember, you can make the picture bigger. You can make it bigger here. There's some stuff here you can do. You can edit it. You can give it some effects. So if you want to make it a duotone or um, so we go duotone. Maybe you want to do blue and you can change the colors. You know, I don't care. I, I could care less what you come up with. Okay. 
And so those are duotones. Just play with it, okay? It's really pretty easy to do. And there's some, obviously there's some filters here. You can, you know, you can do vintage and still has that. I don't, I don't care. Color pop, heat wave, but it's in that duotone still, okay? So play with this, okay? Have the fun with it. Give it a band. If you want to mimic another band, you can easily do that, okay? You can um, bring in, there's places where you can, I apologize here. Uh, let's say, I apologize. Let's go back to element uploads. Right here, if you click here, you can connect it to your Google Drive, okay? Or Google Photos if you want, if you've got that. So let's say I have my Google Drive. This is actually pictures on my Google Drive, okay? So if I wanted to put my wife and I's picture in there, that could be the background, okay? Kind of funky, but it could be, okay? I don't care, okay? I just want you to be creative, okay? Or if you want to do a, a logo, okay? And you can actually, it will, let's say you want to do this, there is a thing you can call edit photo, and let's see, yeah, go back, sorry. Let me go back to edit photo. Click this, edit photo. It's called background remover. It's going to try to remove the background. And gives us a second. I'm thinking it's going to try to keep these flowers. Yep, there you go. Okay, and if you mess up and you don't like it, you can edit photo again, you know, and it, you can go back here, and if you want to keep something, you can restore and say, hey, I want to keep this. Okay. So it's kind of cool. Okay. Is it great? No. But we're still learning. Okay. So does everybody understand that? Kind of cool. Have fun with this. If you don't like anything, you just put it in a trash can. Hey, I don't want that. Trash it. You can hit your delete key also. Okay. And then, like I said, fonts are pretty easy. They do have um, certain effects you might try. It might be interesting to you, okay? And there, there's some that you can use. Okay, maybe you want to use this on a on a um, a uh, project, and you can say, "I'll put Italy." Okay. Maybe you want to change the color. Hey, I want it to be this color. Okay, so see what I'm saying? So have fun with it. Again, this is for the uh, CD, and uh, hope you like it. Have a great day. Bye.